Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope, part two of our PR haul for October. We've never had to do two parts, but we had over 20 boxes and there was just no way I could get it all into one video. So if you did not see part one, go up here. It went live a week ago today. Now we're gonna dive through the rest of these and just see what we got. Some of this stuff has fallen out of packages and others are like just a dead giveaway. Let me clear some space so that we can open these and then we'll start diving in. If this is your first time doing one of our haul videos of any style, let me tell you how we do it. I go as fast as I can, which if I'm enjoying the product actually isn't very fast, through the product to tell you, is it a good value? Is it a good quality? What do I know about it? This is just stuff that showed up in my mailbox. We put it on a shelf until I have a chance to film it, which is how we got to 21 boxes. Um, I dig online to get as much as I can. If I can contact the owner and get a coupon code, I do that as well. Um, some of the products I know, like we've gotten things that are like tried and true that I use, and most of them though are just a random randomness. I am wearing the ring right here from our last video. I happen to really love it. Uh, if you wanna hear more about this like $200 gorgeous ring, Go watch that video I linked earlier. Okay, so I got my notes, I got my phone. Let's see what this one is. Dovety Direct Electric Spin Scrubber. So it is an Amazon product. Oh my gosh, a nine in one electric cleansing brush. It has a silicone star stopper, like three different brushes, sponges, cloths, a hook. What in the world? Extended working time, easy and efficient, multiple heads, green charging, and a cordless clean. So like, like could I clean the edge of my RV with this thing? Like, do I do the floor with it? Oh, that's like hearty. It feels like sturdy and good. So I'm guessing we can attach these or the, here. We hold it here. This is cool. An extension handle here. Oh yeah. Look at all the different brushes and sponges and pads. Ha. Huh. So I wonder what this type of product is most used with. So like, what, what would you scrub with this? So we got the attachment, the attachment goes here, that's holding it. You charge it here, here's the handle. It's not charged, so I can't. It is charged. I almost peed my pants. It literally says, please charge before using product. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there we go. It spins in a circle. We got to full experience that. High, medium, off, or high, low, off. Then you can use the handles to extend it. I can't help but think that this is gonna be great for our RV. Let me get online and see what the listing says. Cordless with eight replaceable brush heads and extension handle, $39.99. That's exactly what I would assume something like this cost. It says it's good for cleaning showers, which I totally agree with, especially since you have the extension handle. You can put the extension on here and you can clean the top part of the shower, which I will tell you I never clean because I'm too short and I'm not gonna go get a ladder for it. I love it for that. I also love it for cleaning any type of tile floor and grout. That seems like these brushes, like this one in particular, and these here would do great on that. It says the battery, once it's charged fully, lasts two to three hours of scrubbing. That's really good. And it's not plugged in, it's cordless. So once it's done charging, you just pop it off and you can go indoor, outdoor. It is showing it over and over with water. Now, not this soaked with water, but like, in this wet and water flinging out from it. So I'm gonna assume that you can use it to some degree with liquids like cleaners and stuff. Um, this is super cool. I wonder windows. Oh my gosh, I wonder about windows. If you could do the tops of windows with this. Okay, I'm gonna have to find some time to play with it. This is a really cool one. Uh, like I said in that last video, I am going to be releasing a best of PR haul find. So basically all the products that I have 
gotten in, used, and loved will be in that video. And I already have a list going because I have quite a few products like the Moissanite jewelry that we got in the first haul. This one came in this last haul. Love it. Highly recommend it. It is, so this ring here is from the first haul. I've worn it every single day in all, you name it, it's been put through it and it looks great. So I've got some feedback. So products like these, if I have a chance to test them and I love them, I'll be featuring them over there. So subscribe so you don't miss that. What is this? Oh, it's something else electronic. A garment steamer. Morris vacuum garment steamer. Fun fact, y'all know I do a ton of fashion, a ton of home decor, and I have never owned a steamer. It's one of those things that I get to the project and I'm like, oh, I wish I owned a steamer, but I don't have it, so I work my way through it, and then I forget about that, and I have never ordered one. But I need one. It would speed up so much of my home decor stuff if I had something I could put like the curtain up and then knock the wrinkles out real quick. Often I stop the video, I run into my bedroom, pull out the ironing board, iron them, come back in here and continue filming with y'all. This is what I need. I'm also liking this because it's small. I feel like the last garment steamer I had at my job was the one like, it, it's like huge, like it has the base and you roll it and it has the water and it's like all of this stuff and you're just like, oh my gosh, this is so much. This, this is this, like this is it. Also, is it purple? That's a great color. Okay, so we have the steamer. Instructions on how to use it. I guess the mat that holds it. Oh yeah, here's like the big instruction manual here with everything. Oh gosh, I thought it didn't have it in English. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to read this. Okay, it says it has a lint collective cover, a suction panel, an ironing panel, and a steam panel all on the front right there. Um, suction adjustment, it does, so like, does a lot. It heats, it steams, and it pulls in the lint so it's clean. It's heavy, but not super heavy. Like, it's not light either though, I wanna clarify that. It's, it's decently heavy. I need to find something to use this on, which that won't be hard. These curtains right over here, I could probably knock it out. I absolutely love the color on it as well. So looking it up online, well, I thought I just had it. Oh, here it is, yeah. It's $99, so not as expensive as those big floor ones you have to roll around, not as cumbersome either. But I mean, still an investment. They did give me this coupon code here. It's wild, but it will give you 10% off on the vacuum. Um, and it's not an Amazon product. It is just morris.com and you can order their garment steamer on their website there. Uh, very, very cool. I love when products that I need show up. Like, think about that. This is just random stuff someone sent me and it happens to be something that's very applicable to my life. Bonus. On the flip side is this guy. A mini tank electric water heater. I guess I'm wondering like, what what do you use this for? Like, do, like where where would you need this or use this? Um, provides hot water at the point of use, easy one person install, lightweight and compact. I am impressed, but also just a little bit curious and would love to hear y'all's feedback. Our houses have hot water heaters on them. Our Campers, RVs, they have hot water heaters on them. Where are we plugging this in? Maybe like, I'm trying to think, maybe if you had like a pool house and there was a sink out there that didn't have hot water, but then again, my thought process there is if you're rich enough to have a pool house, why wouldn't you have hot water out there? I don't know. Oh my gosh. 
Holy smokes. Um, okay, it's it's a hot water heater, it's huge. I don't know why I'm thinking it would be anything else. I legit can't get this out of the box. I don't wanna like dump it. Maybe we can shimmy it. We're making it work. I don't know what this black stuff is all over it, but it just wipes right off. It's not staying, but it is all over the machine. This is what the machine looks like. It's not huge. I mean, for the fact that it says it has hot water on demand, you do have to be able to plug it in. Hot water, cold water connects on top, or I'm guessing that's what that is. And you can adjust how much, minimum, ideal, maximum. Huh. Fascinating. It has out like all the little parts, even the tape to tape off your pipe when you connect this here. Y'all are gonna have to hook me up with some tips and tricks on where this could get used. Let me see what I can find online. It's very affordable, $149.99. I would have thought this would have been way more expensive. Uh, coupon code here will get you 10% off. Safe and durable with excellent thermal insulation and anti-leaking, fast heating and adjustable temperatures, energy saving and eco-friendly, space saving and easy to install is what it says on here. It is on Amazon. The BN Link Under Sink Water Heater. What do the reviews look like? It only has 26, but it's a 4.4 out of five. It says compact for bathrooms, restaurants, shelf, wall, or floor mounted. I just, I mean, I need Jonathan. <laughs> I mean, I he would probably be like, oh, this is where you, this and that and the other. And I just, I just, I don't know. 2.7 gallon. Okay. Well, maybe one of you out there are like, oh my gosh, this is the exact thing I need to solve this exact problem. Uh, here you go. It's on Amazon. Um, I mean, if the quality feels good. I don't even re begin to remotely know how I would test it. Um, but if we do come up with a solution on that, which would be Jonathan, I'll pop it in here. Okay, I think I'm marking that one is the wildest product to date that we've received. We haven't received too many crazy weird things. They've all been like pretty practical use, which I think is why I'm like, oh my gosh, we have to create a best of video. Um, because some of this stuff is super, super cool. But uh, yeah, that one was a little wild. And maybe it's not, maybe I just don't get it. I don't know. Okay, how do we get in here? Oh, this looks like something for kids. Playper. I think I've seen them on YouTube before. The Playper Planet Friendly Toys Curious Kingdom. Build, play, learn. So I guess kiddos can build this. It says these are planet-friendly toys. Unlock your imagination with the 15-piece play set. So you, let's pull this open real quick. No plastics, made with 100% recyclable papers. Their little peel thing doesn't work so great. Goodness gracious. Oh, okay. So, King Ketchup is in a pickle. Here is the story. Here's what you're supposed to get out of it. Here are the instructions and stickers to fix up your stuff. But first you gotta build it. So you have to pop these items out and put them together to create your world. So to create that kingdom I just showed you right here, you pop the items out put the items together, then add your stickers. So you build it and then you play with it. That's pretty dang cool. Okay, so that totally makes sense. Does it have an age range on here? Three years old plus. So I would think if somebody three to six, three to seven plus an older sibling or a parent would be great for that. These are the Playper Curious Kingdom Story Starters. No reading required, use your imagination. So there are pictures on the cards. Mix up the cards, place them in three stacks. There is a person, place, and a thing. So here's how you meet your characters, build your characters. You put the cards down, and so once you have a one green, one orange, it's supposed to be a purple, I think, or a blue. So now I have a person, 
I have a place in a thing. I have to create a story based on these. So this king burned down his castle. I could totally do a story with that because I have a flame, a king, and a castle. And then the backs are just blank. This would be great for homeschooling. Very cool. So, okay, this is all great and hunky-dory. Quality is outstanding. Like these pop-outs are outstanding. I keep thinking, gosh, this would have been so great when my girls were little and we were homeschooling. This would have been right up our alley with the type of stuff we were doing and what I desired for us to be doing. How much is it? Okay, this castle set's only $34.99. The cards are $14.99 and they have so much more on their website. So I'm gonna link their website down below. Uh, let, me, let me reach out to them for a coupon. If I get one, I'll pop it up here. Castle playset, story starter, storytelling cards, eco-friendly, buildable playsets for curious kids, best suited for ages three to six years old, plus their siblings. Okay, I pretty much nailed that one. Very, very cool playper. And I see you have an app that you can download and they have a YouTube. All right, let's bring over another collection. See what we got in here. Oh, see, we need our local tea expert here. She's at school. And this looks like this is from a tea company, IT World. Oh yeah, the green tea collection. Oh my gosh, she is gonna love this. Cool presentation. So that slides off. This lifts up. Inside is information about the green tea collection in IT World. Then there is a envelope of tea bags on top. And then inside are a whole bunch of green teas. Look in there. Are they the same? Are they different? Old tree green tea. Ooh. By Luchon green tea. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm sorry. Jasmine green tea. English jade. Okay. There's a bunch of different ones inside. And so this is what look, those look like inside. On the back of it says how to make Kung Fu tea. And there are instructions on how to do that here. It's just a little green tea collection. Oh my gosh. Emma is going to flip out. Do we have tea drinkers here? If we do have tea drinkers here, not only should you look at this little collection here, you should go watch this video up here at Tea and Treat. Brand new tea subscription box we just launched and um, great value, great products. And yeah, our little local tea expert, Emma, chimed in on that one. So let me look this up. It says, this is the green tea sampler. It has six flavors inside with medium caffeination. So you can use code TPE for 10% off. And uh, this costs $35.99. How many total teas are in here though? Does it say anywhere? Okay, there's 20 teas inside for in essence $36. IT World is dedicated to inheriting the essence of the Chinese tea culture and sharing it with us. Oh, it's cute. It's really well designed. It has a bunch of different tea things on it. Okay, yeah, seems legit. I wanted to see the reviews on Amazon. Let me pop over there and see if I can see that because that helps us know, right? This is first glance for me. And on other things, I'm like, yeah, give it a try. This is a consumable. <laughs> Makes me a little bit nervous to just blindly, you know, open the box and recommend it. But if we can see them and see their reviews from other people, that changes everything. Okay, they don't have this particular green tea collection on Amazon, but they do have it on their website. So I looked up their oolong tea collection. It has 166 reviews with a 4.4 4 out of five, which is great. Here's another one, an eight flavor sampler with low caffeine, 4.4 4 out of five, and it has 166 reviews. Uh, yeah, uh, the reviews on Amazon are saying that the tea is great. So, uh, there's way better selection though on their personal website. So you could hit them up on Amazon, but if you want the cream de la cream, go to their personal website. Okay. If I can grab Emma and have her film a little cameo and give us uh, her thoughts as our local tea expert, I will, and I'll pop it in for us. All right. It's a tea world. This is the green tea collection? Yeah. Yes. Oh. 
This is a lot. So tea bags, are these just, oh yeah, these are just the bags. I need more of these. So. Oh, that's perfect. Then. Jasmine, okay, whoa. This is all different green tea. I think it's a set of six different teas and there's several of them. Okay, so. <laughs> Billo Chun, that's Chun, I don't know, that's a new one. Old Tree Green Tea. Jasmine green tea, jasmine green tea. Sip bitter sweetness, TSO, and so is people. Hmm? Maybe a proverb, a Chinese proverb, maybe? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and she jade do. Have you heard of any of these before, or are they all brand new? I've heard of jasmine and old tree, but Those not. are more Chinese ones that'll be new? Yeah. Huangshan Maofeng. You're good at this. <laughs> I know I am. Oh wait, there's another card. Oh no, it just says the same thing. So with those, do you put them in those bags, or is the bag already in there? Like, <gasps> open one. No, you have to, I think you have to put them in. I feel it. Should okay, I open it? Loose leaf. Yeah, just open it real quick and see. Is it loose leaf in there that you put in the bag? Oh, yep, yeah, that's loose leaf. Okay. Cool. I guess I'll do this one next. Yeah, so. sounds good. More jasmine. I feel like they put a lot of jasmine. That's good. Because jasmine's good. All tea's good. Old tree. I'm excited to try this one. I don't know what this says still. And just more of the cards. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six different types of tea. That's I, cool. And you put it in the tea bag. Okay. Like... Because I have to drink this one today because I already opened it. But you put it in there. That's a lot of tea. I think I'm only going to put like half. Okay. And, yeah, that's, ooh, I, I love these. So right now as I'm putting this away, I heard the automatic cat feeder go off. And the cats ran up and they are eating their lunch. The automatic cat feeder is another item that just showed up in one of these PR hauls. And it has been amazing. We'll be showing... It, and when I say showing it in the best of haul, we're gonna be showing the product in use, like how it works, why we love it, what the features are, not just like, here's a cat feeder. No, 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 we're gonna let you see the food dispense. The cats come up, engage with it. Um, yeah, because that one's been a great one. Well, I'm loving the diversity of this haul so far. Gobi Dex Magnetic Building Cubes 3D magnetic. So this is a 100-piece set, another thing for the kiddos. So it's the same building concept-ish as we showed you earlier, but these are done with magnets. I have seen these before. In fact, when my girls were little, we had something similar. I don't know, maybe it was these that they played with. So this is what the inside looks like, and you can kind of see the world. These are the actual magnet cubes all put together by Gobi Dex. It says, endless building fun, engineering, imagination, hands-on ability, focus, and patience. <laughs> That's fun. And you like build out these different sets. So these are different ones based on the number of pieces you have. So let me get up to the, like, this one is a 100, I said, 100 piece set. So you can build something like these two with this 100 piece set. And I would save the box. It looks like the box is kind of interactive. So let's see if I can, okay. So yeah, look. Oh, they have beads on the inside. Those are the magnets. Is that how it shifts the magnets to build? That's kind of cool. Yeah. So the magnets inside move and you can build based on how, so you can build at an angle. You do not have to build straight on because the magnets shift. Okay, that's really cool. And there's some people in here and like snowmans and penguins. This is a very wintry frosted theme. So we've opened some things that would be great gifts, you guys. And they're from Amazon, so you can give a gift receipt. Like there's like snowman arms down here and see the face, like there's a person. This is super cool. Let me look them up. Gobi Dex Magnetic Building Cubes. Prices start at about $39.99 for the different sets. This particular set here with 100 pieces is $69.99. Use coupon code TPE10 to get 10% off your order, and I do have the link down below 
to these sets. Um, and oh my gosh, I'm looking on here. So they have the different sets, different themes. They're not all the same theme. Some of them have 30 pieces. Some of them have 200 pieces. You can decide that as well. And they have a subscription. I'm on their website. You can subscribe to have these shipped and it's cheaper than the prices I just listed when you set up the subscription. So go down below and check that out. Gobi Dex Magnetic Building Cubes, another great option for kiddos. So if you're looking for kiddo stuff, we don't cover a lot of kids stuff on here, but we obviously just opened two things here. Does this have a age range? Age is three plus on this one. Um, if you're looking for just a little bit older than that, a really cool book club that we just discovered is called Creepy Clubhouse. And um, it's good for boys. It's actually a book subscription box that is very gender neutral and more inclusive of boys than I feel like most of our book subscription boxes are. I do have an unboxing for them. I'll link it up here if you want to go check that out. That is another great kid option. Look at us getting kid stuff. All right. Oh, oh, <laughs> thought it was going to come out this other side. Looks like another Amazon product, UTK Technology, a far infrared vibration heating wrap. So listen, if I put this on and then I go and lean back on that pillow we got in part one with the hand massager we got in part one, that would be like living my best bougie life. Like, all of the things happening at once. It says natural jade and tourmaline stones, pain relief, reduces tension and stress, increases blood circulation, and it has negative ion technology. Okay, comes in a cute little bag. Instructions and info, use it on your knee, use it as a belt for your back, your shoulder, abdominal pain, and more charger. Huh. So it does have the ability to be self-supporting. Like you don't have to sit there and hold it. It has the strap that can feed through and Velcro into place. Look inside. Is that the jade stone they were talking about? Also plug this guy in and that's also where you get the heating of it. It's um, not real heavy. It's got a little bit of weight to it, obviously, if it's got Jane Stone in it and it has a heating panel inside, but not real, real heavy. Oh, it does have a remote that you can set temperature, vibration, time, all right there. Has anybody ever used one of these? It says maximum use four hours at a time. Oh yeah, I would think so. My goodness gracious, I don't think you'd want to go much longer than that. And then look here, this is like where they're saying some of the best places you can use it at. UTK heat for pain relief. Okay, let's hit up the Amazon. $109.99. And it does have a coupon going right now. The UTK far infrared vibration heating belt. Um, okay, let's see what the reviews are on this. Size is small through triple extra large. 103 to 159 degrees. It does say it's an additional 10% off right now, so I'm gonna put that URL down below for you. It says on here a 4.3 out of five, and it has over 200 reviews. Okay, so question for you. It has a 4.3 out of five with 212 reviews, which I would call that good. But when I'm scrolling down and like just checking out the deets, look what Amazon has on there. It says this is a frequently returned item. I don't see that very often. Oh, and then right below it, it says check out the newer version here. Huh. Check the product details and customer reviews to learn more. Well, I did. They thought they were great. There must be something that people aren't leaving in those reviews as to why. Because if you look on here, so it looks like it's all the fancy stuff, the heating, the vibration, it can be adjusted in different places. Okay, yeah, I don't know you guys. Very interesting. Um, I'm gonna give it a try. This sounds lovely, putting it on my back and just having a glass of wine and relaxing. But uh, I also will be honest that I don't have like an ailment I know if you have like back problems or you're trying to serve, uh, solve something in particular, 
you probably need a little bit more than I'm gonna be able to give you. But once again, Amazon, Amazon, you can return it really easily if it doesn't work out. The quality on this seems great. Like everything I'm touching here, the material is soft, it's got good stretch. Um, not the nicest plastic, but not really cheapy, crappy plastic either. Um, we've seen some really, really cheapy, crappy plastic during our time of playing with these products. So yeah, okay, very, very interesting. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> so is this a full accordion? Oh, it's multiple. One, two, three accor accordions. We use these very often. I know it's like so old school, but they're so easy to put labels on and slip important documents in and then throw them into a safe or throw them into a drawer. I have one big one that we all share. And John and I were just talking about with the kids and like homework and assignments and stuff, getting some more. Here we go. And this one even comes with labels that you can put your own or grab one of those and then put it on the tab up here. How funny. I almost wonder if I started talking in front of my phone like this of all the different Amazon products that I need, if they would start showing up because we were literally just talking about these. And I think the colors are great and they're not um, paper on the outside. They're plastic. So they seemingly are more durable. Oh, a set of three is only $11.99. And I do have a coupon code, 15 eco stash C will get you 15% off these on Amazon. And there's seven pockets made of wheat straw on the outside, 100% BPA free. They're calling a monthly bill receipt organizers. It's just an accordion organizer. It has a 4.5 out of five with 33 reviews. Okay, here we go. No excuse. Got to get my life organized now. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. What in the world? Okay. So, oh my gosh, do you remember? This doesn't go in here. I think this literally keeps getting put in different things. In our last video, part one, we opened some G4 leggings. It looks like they didn't just send those. They sent a whole bunch more. Here's one, two, three, four more pair of those leggings. So these are the G4 Women's Wide Leg Tummy Control in Dark Gray. So one of the things we learned is they have different inseams. So you can choose how long. This is a 31 inch inseam. I will tell you these are super soft, super, super soft. Uh, yes, another wide leg, which I love, a great gray color. So these look like pants, and this is what we said last time, that you could wear out or to work out. So this one really looks like a pant you could wear to work. It even has back pockets. Great stretch, and they're super soft. So there's those. Okay, so these are the gray ones that I was saying um, could duel as a slack for work. They have a flat front, seemingly like a zipper, and the pockets, once again, this is too big for me, so you can see the puckering happening here as it's just extra material hanging out. They have pockets on the back that look like, you know, dress pant pockets. If you had on a slightly longer shirt like this, not the t-shirt, but you know, this length, they look like dress pants, except for they wear and feel like yoga pants. So that is something I've noticed about this brand. They have several of these that look like a slack, but they're definitely yoga. So give them a try. It's Amazon. If you have to take a couple stabs to get the sizing right, it'll be totally worth it. These are the G4 Women's Skin Friendly Oh, it abbreviates it. Something leg yoga pant in black, 31 and seam. So, oh, a, is it a straight leg or is it still wide? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's still kind of wide. This one is black. This one actually looks more like a traditional yoga pant than the others do. Here's what the back looks like. Once again, great stretch on these. 
Okay, with this pair here, this is the one that has the flat front. It does have the pockets. Um, you can kind of see like the line right here. It's actually the seam for the pocket. It's not like the pocket showing through. This one fits a little bit better, but it is still loose. Like it's not a tight legging on me. So it's a, a larger small. So keep that in consideration. I don't know if I'd call this one quite a small medium. It does look a little more trim than the ones from that part one video. The part one video, those seem really, really big. So here's this guy here. Here's the booty. Hopefully I'm not making you guys sick trying to do this like this. But I wanted you guys to see the fit because they're so soft. They're actually shockingly comfortable. You just have to get the sizing down, um, which I would say it runs just a tiny bit big. Okay, let me grab one more pair. Okay, Let's get this guy. G4 women's wide leg pants in loose sweatpant in black, 31 inches. I don't know why this is different from the yoga pant. This material feels the exact same as the yoga pant, but they called it a sweat pant. This one on the back looks a bit more like a yoga pant, but the front could go either way. It's got pockets. Does it have the stretch? It has the good stretch, has a pretty wide leg has Lycra, so it has that like super, super stretch to it. It's very, very soft, but Lycra normally is very soft. And then let's look at this brown. When we looked at them last time, they were very affordable too. So this is the G4 Wide Leg Jogger Pant Casual Workout in Dark Toffee, size small. So, wide leg. This one actually drawstrings on the front. And the back does have a dip in that inseam right here. Does the drawstring actually draw? Yes, it does actually cinch up. This also has good stretch to it. Okay, so let me like look and see. I don't remember what we said the price on these were. Okay, so like the other pants, I think these run big. I think these are more of like a small to small medium. With the drawstring, I'm able to get the waist to come in and fit, which is nice but everything else is pretty loose. Uh, once again, with the drawstring, I think it works. Like I can own these with them being a little bit bigger, but I'll show you this other pair in a second. They don't fit like traditional tight leggings, which looks a little bit off, honestly. So let me go grab those. And oh, by the way, I'm wearing like super thick, really like granny panty granny panty panties. <laughs> and they don't show that bad. So they do have a certain thickness to them. G4 leggings start at $29.99 and go up, but I didn't really see many past $35. So between $29.99 and $35.99, use coupon code G4FREE10 for 10% off your order, and you can order them on Amazon. All right, what's in here? So we've got this box, that box, and then that random legging thing that keeps floating around. A faux... Loke, faux loke, LED light therapy mask, LED red light therapy for home use. Is this the mask you see all the girls on TikTok and Instagram wearing on their face in the evenings, like when they're doing their beauty routine? Is it this here? Oh my gosh, I think it is. Look at the back. This is like super trendy and all these girls are wearing this mask and I don't even know what it does. Skin care, repairs sensitive skin and acne cleansing. There's red light for anti-aging and wrinkles, blue light for antibacterial and inflammatory and red blue light together for acne, pimples and more. Who has ever used one of these and what were your thoughts? I am so intrigued. The box is cool. Like the way you open it, that's great presentation. Slip the, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Okay. So here's the face that goes on your face. And I have it peeled off the protective layer, but there's the actual back. And then see the sides here, you connect the straps that hold it on. There are two there. 
Here's the instructions and charging cables and eye protectors and a remote. Y'all, this is so wild. Oh, and a bag to store everything. I guess that makes sense. The quick guide. Step one, select the corresponding mode, red, blue, or red, blue. Two, do a photosensitivity test. So test a visible area. It actually said on your, like just showing the girl's arm. Three, cleanse your face. Four, put the face thing on. Five, turn it on. Six, be aware that your skin may appear red, which is normal. It will subside. And it like literally, this is like the quick of it. If you just wanna grab and go, you do this. Um, red light therapy treatment card, grab and go, read this. If you want the in-depth and you're one of those people who wants to dig through everything, they have like the really, really big manual for you. Crazy, crazy. I would love, love, love to try this, but I am so scared of what it would do to my super sensitive skin. But I bet I could put it on Jonathan and then I could loop back to you guys. Huh. Y'all, anybody who's used red light therapy, blue light therapy, comment below and tell us your experience. Everything I'm touching here seems like good quality. Nothing seems cheap. The presentation on it's beautiful. I, I think that's very impressive. The Folok LED therapy mask, $129.19. So $129.19. And this is a multifunctional skincare tool that combines red and blue light therapy to help boost collagen production, reduce wrinkles, shrink pores, and improve skin conditions. It has a 4.7 out of 5, and 78 people have reviewed it. Okay. There's a little bit of something out there for everyone, isn't there? we got another box. We've had a lot of boxes this time. Oh, <laughs> this product has already been opened. This is one of the products that was in part one. It looks like I uh, recycled it back over here. So if you want to see all about the hand massager, bounce over to part one. So I think the only thing we have left are this pair of at lady pants that have been just floating through the both videos with me trying to figure out what bag they belong in. It looks like they lost their bag, but that's okay. At Lady Leggings Workout Yoga Pants in black. They have a high waist. They shape your legs and you can wear it for everyday wear or postpartum. And that's the tag there. Let's pop it open and see. I love a good high waist tummy control. Not to be like lazy or anything, but I'd rather the pants hold my tummy in for me than me have to hold my tummy in. Ooh, super soft, super, super soft. Okay, definitely, like this part right here is significantly thinner than those G4 pants. I mean, they're just different. They're also a narrow, more like compression style legging. But up top where the tummy control is, it's like double the thickness. Like this is like legit, like boning right here in it. And like, I'm trying to stretch it and it's super tight. Whereas you get down here, look how easily I can stretch it. So that is, I mean, pretty hourglass looking in shape. That's the front. And this is the back. This is a size small. It does have pockets on each hip. High-waisted tummy control at Lady Leggings, $26.39. So same price as the other ones. Use this coupon code here to get 10% off. They are a breathable stretch Quick drying fabric, I agree with that, that's what it feels like. High-waisted with tummy control, back seam and hip lift, deep side pockets to help you look slimmer and outline your curves. Well, I don't really have many curves. So when we put this on, it's gonna be the real test. Does it like flatten out because it's too tight? What curves I do, curves? What curves I do have? Or does the different tightness in the shape here Give me a waist. I should have filmed myself trying to put these at lady pants on. Let me try not to flash y'all, but like the top comes up to my boobs. <laughs> it definitely does give shape. Remember I was saying, I didn't know if it was a remove my shape or give me shape. I think it gives me some shape. 
Um, putting these on was wild. I have my granny panties on still and I was not about to try to take them off to swap them. So that's the view you get. Uh, yeah, they're actually very comfortable. <laughs> Cause they're tummy control. I didn't know what to anticipate. And uh, it's actually really comfy tummy control. You can kind of see, let me see if I can get the lighting to cooperate some. See the boning or whatever that stuff's called that holds it? Kind of crazy, right? And it does have pockets on the side right here. So yeah, if you're wanting leggings that can dual, like this could go under a dress, this could be for workout, this could be for a lot of different things, but you want the tummy control, maybe give these a try. They're not too tight, they actually, I don't know how to explain it. They're holding things in, but there's give. Like sometimes you get them and you like, it's so tight. You're just like, Bleh. these aren't doing that. And then last, but certainly not least, is a product I ordered. So I ordered these guys off of Amazon to hold my fingernail polishes. Paige and I were starting to get so many fingernail polishes and we had just like this bucket and we were tossing them in. So then we were doing the dig thing and I was like, I hate doing the dig thing. I'm scared one of them are gonna break and you can't find what you need. So I ordered these, they were only $17.98 each. So whatever 18 times two is 36 for both of these. I do have this direct product linked down below. Um, we love, love, love them. So this is Paige's and it has all of her polishes and her olive and June. So she has all of her olive and June on one side and then the other side is her miscellaneous. And then this is mine and it has all of my Beatles and Nail Reserve polishes, each side respectively. And then it actually holds tools on the side. Really easy to sit in a drawer and they stack like this or they can stand up. They do have a handle. Um, if you watched my October monthly haul, I'll link that guy up here. We show off both an Olive and June polish set and a Beatles polish set. Uh, the Olive and June we will put in here. That Beatles polish set that have the mini bottles, I leave them in the Beatles trays. I don't transfer them over to these. Um, but any of the other stuff I do transfer over. These have been so good. We've been using them. And the heavy polishes inside, I was wondering if it would pop the snaps open on the side. That has not been a problem even once. And so the girls had friends over. Paige came and grabbed her kit, took it right out to the patio. They did nail. She came back into the bathroom, put her kit away. It was so easy breezy. So I highly recommend these um, for, I mean, great. I use them for nail polish, but I would wager to say, I wonder if match cars, like little boys cars would fit in here as well. Super durable, super great. Okay. Is that it? Did we get through it? Oh, I wonder how many products we ended up at. Cause I did grab a couple more things than I anticipated grabbing. If you have any questions about the products, you can put them below. I don't know that I know the answer, but I don't mind helping you research to see if it's a good match for you. Uh, a lot of these products, I, the Amazon products, I try to link to my Amazon storefront. There is a folder called PR haul. So if you don't want to watch all the videos, but you'd like to go through and see the different products that have popped up, uh, that URL is down below in the description. You can one click over there and dig through that folder because we have found so many cool things. I am trying to find a way on Amazon to communicate to you the ones that I love and the ones I just don't know anything about yet. I can't believe we're already midway through October. I feel like this is going by so fast and I don't want to give up all my like fun things, all my shirts, but alas, we'll get to swap over to Thanksgiving and that's a lot of fun. We do have a Timu Thanksgiving Christmas, we call it Thanksmas video coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And it's gonna be a lot of fun product, just random, super fun stuff coming. We have uh, all of our traditional unboxings of our different subscription boxes, um, but we also are in the middle of sharing Advent and our gift guides. So the gift guide is made up of boxes, subscriptions, and products that we love. You cannot get on that gift guide via like a PR haul. It needs to be something that I have used and it's tried, it's true, it saves money, it saves time, it sparks joy. So that list is the best of the best if you wanna go check that out. Um, and then we're just popping through advent calendars. I don't open all advent calendars. Something you'll notice on my channel that I do not do is bad reviews. Uh, if I get a product 
or a box or something that I open it and I start to film with you like this and I get midway through the video and I'm like, this is a mess. The value isn't there. It's a bad curation. The quality's poor. I don't continue filming the video, then turn around and go into edit and edit the video, then get on here and talk about how horrible it is. I actually contact the owner and in most cases it's small business and say, hey, can we do a one-on-one -on -one and chat about areas of opportunity? 99% of the time they say, yes, please. Cause they are just so close to the fire. Sometimes it's really hard to see. I know as a business owner here, for me, I am way too close to my own fire to see my, my pitfalls. And so, um, we go into a consultation and we chat about areas of opportunity, whether they do it or not is up to them. Um, but the same thing works for Advent. If I'm opening these Advent calendars and the products are cheapy and crappy and it's a bad value, I'm not going to get on here and rip them a new one. I'm just not going to recommend it. So the ones that are on my Advent list are the ones that I'm saying are great. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely spectacular day. Happy Halloween. And if you did subscribe to the channel, I'm going to see you later. Bye, y'all.